Welcome to session 6 of NEST 245, Nursing Practical 2. In this session, we are going to look at administering medication. My name is Mrs. Cecilia Eliasson, School of Nursing. I'm doing this together with Ms. Emma Annan. Drugs are administered through various routes, depending on the drug type, duration of action, and the pharma pharmacokinetics of the medication. The following principles for administering medication must be adhered to. Administer treatment based on prescription signed by A, a doctor, B, approved under nurses' practice act. One, check on all details on treatment sheet. For example, the age of the client, the name, the sex, the word, and then the diagnosis. Observe all the 5 to 12 rights of drug administration. Chat and sign all given medication. Check dosage with second or a third nurse if one is in doubt. Report promptly to the nurse in charge any error in prescription or medication. Keep all drugs in client's pigeon hole, container or the medicine trolley. Refer to TPR and BP. Take vital signs before giving cardiac, hypertensive, etc. medication. Medication must be administered by a professional nurse or under the supervision of a professional nurse. All dangerous drugs must be kept securely under the lock and key. DDA rules must be adhered to. The DDA dangerous drug act must be rules must be ad, uh, adhered to. Report and document all side effects of drugs exhibited by the client. The key topics to be covered in this session as follows: right of administering medication administration of oral medication given intramuscular subcutaneous intraderma and then calculation of dosages of drugs for your reading you have anaman et al clinical nursing procedures the art of nursing practice by jp books and then latter tips on practical nursing procedures right of administering medication the 1 to 12 right or correct when giving medication. The right or correct drug medication. The right client. The right time and date. The right route. The right dosage. The right of the client to refute the medication. The right of clients and the nurse to know the side effects of the drug. The right of nurses to check the expiry date of drug. For ample drug, the right to check for sediment and cloudiness before giving drug. The right of the nurse to observe infection prevention practices. I, uh, uh, intramuscular and intravenous. The correct validity of prescription. The signature of the doctor. Administry oral medication, pills and tablets. Use client treatment sheet to organize the medicine trolley. Reach each label at least three times before pouring the dosage. Never pour or serve medication from unlabeled container or bottles. Unused portion of dosages of medicines should be discarded and not returned into the original bottles. Serve or give water when administering tablets and capsules. Make sure client swallows the drug before leaving him or her and document. Protect labels from being stained or soiled when pouring the drug. Use spoons, etc. in administering oral drugs. Do not let medication come in contact with the skin of the fingers or any other part of the body of the nurse. Never chat medication as having been given until it has actually been taken by the patient. Administration of iron mixtures. Requirements, same as for oral drugs or mixtures. 
glass rod, straw, water in glass or water in glass or a cup, receiver for rinse water, client sucks drag with straw or pours drag to to the back of throat gently. Serve water to rinse mouth. Administration of oily drugs requirement as same as for oral drugs or mixtures. Warm glass, warm spoon, a piece of dry bread or biscuit. Inform or tell client of the unpleasant taste of drug. Administration of tablet, pills and capsules. Requirements. Clean tray, clean spoon, teaspoon or a de dessert spoon. Clean saucer or a small plate. Tablet in container. Water in cup or a glass or bottle. Medication sheet, nurse's notes. Blue pen for documentation. Vital signs tray when drug to be administered is cardiac. Component tax administration of tablet, pills and capsules. Check for the right patient, right drug, right time, right dosage and ensure right to consent or refuse. Establish rapport. Explain procedure to patient and send tray to the bedside. Identify patient by mentioning the name and check treatment sheet against doctor's order. Read the label on the container and compare with patient treatment sheets. Assess condition and level of consciousness and check vital signs when necessary. For example, the gossip. Remove lid of container. Check label on container and compare with patient treatment sheet for the third time. Pour out water into drinking glass or cup. Take the tablet with a spoon. Give tablet to patient in a spoon. Ensure that patient swallows it. Congratulate patient and make him comfortable in bed. Discard tray, wash and dry hands and document procedure. Component at administration of mixtures and syrups. Identify and check for right patient, right drug and right time, right dose and right route. Establish rapport. Explain procedure to patient and send tray to the bedside. Identify patient by mentioning the name and check treatment sheet. Read the label on the container and compare with patient treatment sheet. Shake bottle well. Remove the cock and hold it with a little of with a little of finger. With a little of finger. Compare label on the bottle a second time with the patient treatment sheet. Pick the medicine glass and with the thumb nail mark the level of the measure to be taken. Pour out the prescribed dose at eye level in bright light, holding the bottle with the label uppermost. Replace the cork. Read the label a third time. Compare patient treatment sheet and dose in the glass. Carry medicine to the patient on a tray or a saucer. Teaspoon may be added for stirring. If it is a suspension, supervise patient to drink the medicine and serve water if necessary. Congratulate patient and make him comfortable in bed. Discard tray, wash and dry hands, document procedure and sign treatment sheet. For intramuscular injections, this is a parenteral administration of medication where a drug is injected into a deep muscle tissue. Injection is the giving of medication using a syringe and needle. I am injection. Medication is injected into the muscle layer beneath the subcutaneous layer of the skin. Absorption rate is quicker because of the increased blood supply. Larger quantities of medications are used. A bigger needle is used, a 23G, at an angle of 90 degrees. Site for IM. The dental muscle in the lateral aspect of upper arm. The gluteus medius muscle in the outer quadrant of the buttocks. The vastus lateralis muscles on the anterior lateral aspect of the thigh. Requirement for IM injection. You need a, a clean tray, a screen, a mobile screen, a medication chart, 
a sterile medication ampoule or a vial, a sterile syringes and needles, methylated spirit, cutting wool balls in a galley pot, examination or clean gloves, kidney dish, nurse's notes and pen, medication chart, safety, sharp box. For the procedure, identify and inform client. Check all the rights of administration of medication. Explain procedure to client. Take tray to bedside. Wash hands. Prepare medication from vial or ampoule. Wash hands and don gloves. Assist patient to a supine lateral or prone position. Select, lo select locate and clean site. Select a site free of skin lesions, tenderness, localized inflammation, hardness, swelling that has not been used frequently. Determine whether size of muzzle is adequate for the prescribed amount of medication. Locate exact site of in injection. Don gloves. Clean with alcohol swab in circular mo motion, moving from center to periphery. Transfer and hold swab between third and four fingers and discard into a receiver of the non-dominant hand. Allow side to dry. Remove needle cover without contaminating the needle by pulling straight up. Confirm that medication and dose are correct. Ensure that medication is not dripping on needle prior to in injection. If it is dripping, change needle. Inject medication. Grasp and pinch the area surrounding the injection site or spread skin as appropriate. Hold the syringes between the thumb and the forefinger in a pen holding manner and pierce skin at sight at 90 degrees angle and insert the needle. Aspirate by holding the barrel steadily with non-dominant hand and pulling back the plunger with the dominant hand. Withdraw needle if black blood appears in the strain discard and prepare new injection inject the medication slowly and steadily if blood not appear in the syringe on aspiration z track technique drug cannot escape from the muscle tissue pull skin to one side downward or laterally about an inch using non-dominant hand inject medication with airlock at 90 degrees angle hold needle in place for 10 seconds withdraw the needle and release the skin withdraw the needle slowly and steadily while supporting at the help of, of syringe and needle with non-dominant support the skin surface using cotton wool swab for applying counter traction of the site apply gentle pressure at the site with a clean swab and if bleeding is present, continue applying pressure till bleeding stop. Do not massage. Massaging may irritate the tissues at the injection site. Discuss syringe and uncap needle appropriately. Thank and congratulate patient. Remove gloves, discard tray and wash hands. Assess effectiveness of medication. Document procedure correctly in the medication chart. And the nurse's notes. Our next topic is administering a subcutaneous injection. This is ad, uh, administering medication into the subcutaneous tissue. Requirement a clean tray, a sterile syringes and needles, prescribed medication in vials or ampoules, cotton wool swabs in galley pots, methylated spirit, a kidney dish, disposable clean gloves. Uh, safety and sharp boss, privacy, medication chart and nurses notes. Identify and inform client. Take tray to best side and provide privacy. Explain procedure to client. Check the 5 to 12 rights of administering medication. Withdraw medication as prescribed into syringe. Assist client to assume position depending on selected sites. Outer aspect of the upper arm. The arm relaxed and is at side of the body. Abdomen. 
client in semi recumbent position, anterior thigh, anterior thigh, sitting or lying down with muscles relaxed. Assess the area, check for tenderness, lump, hardiness, swelling, itching, scarring, inflammation or burning sensation of the area. Don glove, clean the area with alcohol swab in a circular motion. Allow side to dry. Remove needle cap with the dominant hand. Pull straight off. Grab and pinch the area surrounding the ingesting site or spread skin at sight. Hold the syringe in dominant hand between the thumb and forefinger. Inject needle quickly at an angle of 45 to 90 degrees with 26 G insulin needle. Obese and normal people 90 degrees. Release tissue after insertion. Immediately move non-dominant hand to steady. Immediately move non-dominant hand to a steady lower end of syringe. Slide dominant hand to the to top of the barrel. Aspirate by pulling back gently on plunger to determine whether the needle is in the blood vessel. If blood appears, withdraw needle and discard and prepare medication again. Do not aspirate for heparin or insulin. Inject medication slowly if no, uh, if no blood appears. Withdraw needle quickly at the same angle as it was inserted while applying counter traction around the injection site with a non-dominant hand. Massage the area gently with alcohol swab. Do not massage heparin insulin injection site. It may lead to bruising and unpredictable absorption respectively. Discard needle and syringe appropriately. Do not recap the needle. Put client in a comfortable position. Discard tray and wash hands. Document medication administering appropriately. Evaluate response of client to medication. Administration of an intra intradema injection administration of medication into derma layer of skin reason to perform tuberculosis tests to perform sensitivity tests and then administer vaccination requirement for administering intraderma injection a clean tray a mobile screen for privacy medication or vial or an ampoule Clean gloves, sterile syringe, and needle size of 26 to 30 gauge, kidney dish, gallipot with cotton wool swab, methylated spirit, nurse's note and pen, medication chart, safety and sharp box. Procedure. Identify informed client. Take tray to bedside. Provide privacy. Explain procedure to, to, to the client. Check the 5 to 12 right of medication. Wash hands. Prepare medication from ample or vial. Wash hands and down gloves. Position client and locate side. Inner aspect of forearm, upper or upper back beneath scapula. Cleanse side with alcohol swab in circular motion, moving outward, allowing skin to dry. Remove skin cap with non-dominant hand by pulling straight. Place the needle almost flat against the client's skin and insert the needle into the skin so that the point of needle can be seen through the skin. Insert needle only one eight inch. Slowly inject the medication, watching for blister, bleb to develop. If not present, withdraw the needle in the tissue. Withdraw needle quickly. Do not massage the area, it's just like the others. Assist client to a comfortable position. Position. Remove the gloves. Discard tray. Document your findings and thank patient. Topical medication. The requirements are similar to other IM uh, medication, so you can read that on your own. So for that, explain procedure to patient, expose affected part, wash and dry hands, put on gloves, smear the drug on the affected part, rub it in or apply it to the skin as may be required. Chat or drug administered, make patient comfortable, discard tray, wash and dry hands. Thank you.